we are still on connection design in our previous classes we we have done a moment connection share connection base plate connection and anchor bolt design today we are going to continue with gusset design let me show you the 3d the gusset design like this brazing this uh, angle ion we need connection at the midpoint here with a gusset plate so I'll, I'll be showing you right now how to do that how to do a connect how to connect this base plate this uh how to connect this angle ion at the center here to have a, a gusset plate with both and um, tightening the angle ion to the gusset plate yes we are going to be doing that right away so but before we can be able to do the connection there's something we need to do immediately we go back to geometry we need to create a node let's take this one for example you see this is a continuous member and this other one is a, a continuous member and this other one is a continuous member so we need to create a node at this point for us to be able to connect um, the two angle ion so for us to do that we go to insert node after selecting this beam go to insert node click on that click uh, select add midpoint you say okay then for this one this one has been we have broken this one into two so this one we do the same add midpoint you say okay that's good then we are good to go then the next thing is to run analysis you always run analysis before you do you perform any design yes the analysis is running zero error that's good you say okay then we go to our connection design we click here as usual brings us to this point then uh, um you can see the ones we have done before we all the connection we have done before we have done for already in our past class so if you if you if you've missed if you know you've not uh, watched all these connection i have one video for each of this for that means four videos so if you have not watched them i urge you to Check my channel check those videos there i have them there already you go and watch to know how to do all those connections so i will select the node which i have uh, created select this node then you come here remember the, the, the previous classes we were using a smart connection that's for moment and share connections when you are connecting beam to column column to beam yes we use smart connection but for this one this one now that has to do with our uh, angle ion brazing and gusset plates we use this this one which is gusset so simply click on it then we select our template so when you when you select a template you look at the preview the preview gives you an overview of the type of template you have chosen so if I choose this one, it's showing me a column, a beam, then a gusset plate connecting an angle ion or a brazing. So this is not what I'm looking for. So you go to the next one. The next one is showing again a, a column or beam. Then you have two um, two uh, 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 brazings coming um, and being held or being, uh, being attached to a gusset plate. So this is not the template I need. We go to the next one. This one is 
a, a gusset plate with a brazings no it's not what i need so these are just templates so you keep um scrolling and checking on, on all of them to see the one that uh, displays exactly what you want uh, here so this is the one that we want so we have a uh, you have angular ion running this way and the other way and this gusset plate is going to help us connect the four yes that's what we want so this is the only option we we, we add and click ok yeah, status is ok has been designed status is ok that's wonderful so if you look at uh, this our you see gusset uh, our gusset design you see 0.32 uc ratio very very ok and the color is green that means no issue at all so let us quickly look at it we click edit yeah right click and move to see the the connection this is the connection looking so beautiful very very easy and flexible you know yes so let me see the thickness of my plate the thickness is a uh, 9.525 so I can change it, you can change it to 10, it becomes bigger, or I can use 6, smaller, it becomes smaller, or you put 8, it depends on what you want, but it is passing, it passes. let me see if 2 will still pass, see, when I put 2 thickness, the connection fails, it fails, so 2 cannot go get so you can try three just play play around it three is giving me 0 0.7 so uh, i will i'll prefer six i'll prefer six so that's that everything is okay i don't need to do other other settings if not you have some distances to play around with you can uh, if you change uh, this uh, um, right distance left distance to something like uh, let me see 30 just be observing the changing you see the gusset plate is, is the shape has changed you we'll put 30 here again and so if you want to kind of uh, trim down the gusset plate that is what uh, that one is uh, all about if I, if I reduce it further to 20, just take note of the gusset plate. If I take it further to 10, you see, it, still, it brings it uh, down further, you see. So, use that one to, you know, cut down the, the plate. Uh, I think it's okay, like this. It's good. Yes. As well as my design is still showing me 0 0.3 and green light is very okay for me then uh, there are so many things to play around with you can if you select this it shows a uh, it makes one con a one angle continuous and breaks the other side so you can still you can still choose this this one is, is okay as well it, it can go this way yes yes can go is, is okay as well you know, so many things to play around with you can click on this one this one takes one of the angular ion behind the opposite face connection so there are so many so many things to play around with okay yes yeah, so if you go to if you go to results, if you go to results, you see my reports. This is the, the report to design. You see everything everything passed. The green tick shows that everything is okay. See the unity ratio and the bolt share, the bolt bearing on the brace, the the block share, everything is, is good got this other one here showing green light very very good 
this one is a um, design check brace ratio 0, 0 0.0 check for gusset the gusset plate itself the gusset tension ending on the on the white one section you have 0 0.25 everything is good everything is okay geometric consideration nothing is clashing with anything that's why it's showing everything is showing green 0.33 that's it check for breeze demands description good everything this one is 0.13 very very this is the report which you can as well take to ms word or you can print to pdf you know and you you submit it as as report you attach it to your to your report global critical strength ratio that's the same thing with what is here this one is the global utilization ratio that's very good everything is good everything is is okay so that's that's all so next time we do another one we continue to do I will show you how to do all those connections all of them all of them so stay tuned do not miss out anything if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe so that you don't miss out subscribe click this click the, the bell button so that anytime i post a video you will be one of those that will be notified you receive a notification and you quickly watch so let us go to the dxf the Auto, autocad format the drawing is already done by the software which we can take to AutoCAD and clean it up. So if you look at the plan, see the plan of the connection, you see the bolt, it shows the dimensions, the offset from the angle ion for the gusset, see 10 mm this way, 10 mm that way. Yes, you see the center to center distance from bolt to the gusset, it's 8.1. If you want to increase it, you can come here. Can come here if you put any value here it will, it will affect to affect what is there automatically sorry 20 is what i wanted to put it affects it this one becomes 20 yeah Let's see as that that is dimensioned already drawn to scale this is the detail for this other one center to center of both 76.2 as that this is the boat information the stored boat information 76.2 center to center of boat then center of boat to edge of uh, of a uh, angle ion starts 8.1 so this drawing is already done so you just take it straight to to autocad and you clean it up then you are done with this this uh this design so start pro connect and uh, um start pro advanced is the best software to use for your designs it does everything for you you know you don't need to stress yourself and that's the need for you to learn this stuff software if you learn it i'm, I'm I, I i assure you you're not going to regret it not going to regret it is very very useful that's what i use personally and it has also um rcdc where uh, you can take your concrete works and design your beams your slab without any stress which i will also i will also i will also take a project that i will use to show us how to do such design concrete design reinforced concrete beams column and uh, and foundations with rcdc is another um software that is embedded into a star pro advanced edition so stay tuned and uh, subscribe like share share with your friends and uh, give me comments thank you see you next time